Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can actually build a simple half adder circuit in Proteus simulation software. So at first, let me tell you how a half adder circuit works and then I will move on to the building part. Okay, so at first you can see that there is a simple block diagram for a half adder circuit. The half adder circuit is such a circuit which can actually add only two bits of numbers. Alright, so uh, this is a half adder and half adder can only build to uh, half adder can only add two bits of numbers. So this is the block diagram for a half adder circuit. So there are two inputs X and Y and these these two inputs will be added together and they will produce a result so the results are uh, the result is actually divided into two parts one part is for the sum and the other part is for carry okay so basically in a half adder circuit there are two inputs and there are two outputs one is sum which is denoted as s and the other one is carry which is denoted as c okay so now let's check out the truth table so this is a truth table for a simple half adder circuit as you see there are only two inputs so there will be definitely four uh, sets of uh, rows okay so there are four different rows in this table for two inputs so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 and these are the combination of the inputs so at the first row as you can see that we have added 0 with 0 okay this is an adder circuit so in the truth table uh, we have written the inputs uh, the first set of input as 0 and 0 okay so we are adding 0 with 0 since we add 0 uh, since we are adding 0 with 0 so it produces a total result of 0 so that's why uh, in the output part we can see that sum is 0 and the carry is also 0 now for the next row we are adding 0 with 1 and since we are adding 0 with 1 so the sum will be 1 at this time so sum is 1 s is 1 but the carry is 0 all right so for the third part we are adding 1 with 0 so this is basically the same thing as a uh, second row we are adding 0 with 1 in the second row and now at the uh, third row we are adding 1 with 0 so basically it will produce the same result so that's why sum is 1 here again and carry is 0 and in the last row we can see that we are adding 1 with 1 and if you add 1 with 1 then you will be getting a sum of 0 but a carry of 1 that's why the output is written like this so this is basically the truth table for a simple half header circuit and if you want to find out the equation of both of the outputs here for both c and s then the equations will look something like this c will produce a uh, equation uh, c will produce an equation like this one c equal to xy and s will produce an equation of x prime y plus xy prime which is actually equivalent to x x or y okay so c equal to xy and s equals to x x or y these are the output equations for a simple half adder circuit now we want to build our half adder circuit following these equations so let's see uh, how the diagram will look like so these are the equations which i have already explained and based upon these equations this circuit is uh, done here so you can see that this circuit is very simple because the equations are already simple so we just followed those equations and built our circuit so that's why this circuit is uh, uh, such a simple circuit so now we are going to build uh, this circuit based upon uh, this circuit diagram we are going to build this half header circuit based upon this circuit diagram in our Proteus simulation software all right so we want to build this circuit in our Proteus simulation software so uh, we are actually saying that we will be needing only one AND gate and only one XOR gate and there are two inputs and two outputs so let's see how we can actually build this so we're going to be needing an XOR gate so there is an XOR gate okay so let me just move it a bit right over there okay and we'll be needing an AND gate there's the AND gate you can see the circuit diagram here so there are two inputs so I want to use two logic states for my inputs you can also use uh, switches if you want okay so these inputs will be connected to both of the gates to the XOR gate and also to the AND gate and you can see that there are two outputs one from the XOR gate and the other from the AND gate so for the outputs I am using LED lights here so I just connected them 
and for the LED lights to work perfectly I also need a ground so two grounds and they will be connected to the LED lights okay so this is basically my half adder circuit so you can actually check that I have completed building my half adder circuit now I want to check the circuit I want to verify the circuit whether it really works or not okay so I have just created some symbols like uh, X Y S and C just to keep it uh, same as our original circuit diagram so now I will be checking the inputs and outputs for this specific half error circuit so this is our truth table as you can see and here we can easily see that only for uh, the first row right here if both inputs are zero then both the outputs will be zero all right so if any of the input is one then sum will produce a result of one and carry will produce a result of zero and if both the inputs are one then sum will produce zero and carry will produce one so let's check them out based upon our own circuit here so let's run the circuit okay so right now both the inputs are zero so the outputs are zero as our original truth table all right so now let me just uh, put uh, one over here so x will be zero and y will be one so if i put x as zero and y as one then you can see that the uh, in the output we are getting one in s and zero in c just like our truth table so if i change my input if I change X into 1 and Y into 0 it also gives me the same output just like the truth table okay so if any of the inputs uh, are if any of the input is 1 then in the output we'll see 1 in S and 0 in C okay just like uh, we are saying right now but if both the inputs are 1 then in the output we'll be seeing 0 in case of S and 1 in case of C so let's check it out so right now both the inputs are 1 and you can see that we are getting 0 in S and 1 in C okay so this is how uh, half adder circuit works this is how you can actually build a half adder circuit in Proteus simulation software and we have already built it and we have actually verified it with our own truth table uh, this is how you can actually build a simple half adder circuit in Proteus simulation software thank you for watching